Hey everybody, it's a beautiful day in Bangalore, but every beautiful day comes up with challenges, isn't that right? Well, our life is full of challenges. If you are a girl child trying to do PhD, the challenges become even more. So today, I'm not just going to talk about these challenges, I'm also going to give you solutions. And yes, at the end of the video, don't forget to subscribe to the channel because that's where you get all the courage, all the motivation, all the knowledge about biosciences. So let's get started. All right, so welcome back. Now what we are seeing here, we're going to talk about challenges faced by a girl PhD student. Well, if you are a parent, or if you are a girl child, you already are aware of it. But in this video, I'm not just going to talk about all these challenges, but also I'm going to talk about why you should not succumb to it. Well, one thing I learned early in my life, and that is never ever succumb to your circumstances. Be a student of your circumstances and fight. Learn and relearn and fight. Never give up. All right. So today I want you all girl child to do your PhD and you know, fly like a butterfly. We all studied this far. Then why should we worry and be scared of just a small thing called PhD? Five to seven years of hard work and then we are a doctorate. Right. So here we are 16 pointers for all of you. The first one, which is new city. Well, you always have to go to some city, right? So it's like ships are never built for the shores. So if you think that going to a new city is going to be difficult, no, it'll be same as always. You were never built. You are, you are a car which was not built to sit in the garage. You were supposed to go on the road. Okay. And that's why there's no big deal going to a new city. New people, that's a part of life. Whenever you go anywhere, right? You go to a market, you interact with strangers, right? So, you know, it's fine. The next one, new lab. Oh my God. Is that tough? No, it's not. Treat it like you just got admitted to a new school, right? As simple as that. The next one, new guide. Okay. Just like new teacher. No big deal. Next one, safety issues. Your family will have this, you'll have this. Very simple thing, just have a local guardian, someone, some uncle, some cousin, some buddy who becomes a local guardian who can, you know, come in case of emergency. Okay. And it's not that every day there is a terrorist attack. Nothing will happen. Don't worry. So there's no such thing as safety issue. All you have to do is be alert and careful. Okay. Next one, family pressure. We all have this. Now, what kind of family pressure? Marriage pressure. There's that. Don't do it. Let's not have it kind of fresh pressure right and relative pressure oh my god so the first thing which you will face is the convincing the family will be tough right here is a thing which i wanted to highlight if you think convincing your family is tough okay show them this video because i am going to come up with solutions for that but at the same time you have to tell them that if i was supposed to sit at home and you know cook then why did i study so much I studied because I wanted to fly. I wanted to become a big person. And if PhD gives me that, why not do it? Why should I be scared? Now, coming back, family pressure will always be there. You should not succumb to it. Money issues. Yeah. So when you will have fellowship, it will be less. Sometimes it will not come. So you'll have money issues. Always save 10% for emergency. That's the first rule. The second rule is always have emergency fund. Okay which can be apart from your fellowship, something which you need. Okay. And always have insurance, maybe medical insurance and stuff so that, you know, sudden illness doesn't impact you. Now, nervousness, we all have this nervousness going to new city, new people, new uh, place and a new guide. Don't worry. You have come this far. Now, why, why, why worry? Watch my videos. Okay. Watch my videos. That will definitely give you a lot of courage. There are a lot of motivational speakers out there. You can listen to them. They all will help you out. But never ever stop to fly. Now coming to the next lab procurements. Whenever you as a girl child, uh, you know, girl PhD student, you will go for lab procurements. 
it's expensive it's uh, costly at the same time you know it's very confusing so you can always collaborate with other other phd students if they are buying similar things you can always get a discount and stuff a lot of things can be done you can you'll get more tips than what i can give from them okay so that's about lab procurements next is ragging as soon as you join somebody will rag you never give in never be scared remember fear is a paper tiger don't be scared of them they can't do anything okay so never give up or give in okay but i'm not saying that you go and fight instead stay away just walk away because that ain't your battle. Your battle is to do PhD. Your battle is not to fight with the seniors. Okay. Next one, stability issues. At the end of the PhD, it will all be stable. But during the PhD, it will be dicey. Suddenly you have to do field work. Sometimes it will be late night work. All that will be there. Okay. But remember that this is a part of the process as a girl child you or a um, you know boy child. You, you'll always face these things. Okay. It's not a big deal. Okay. You will at the end become stable. Okay. Now worry of the future. Oh my God, what will happen? I don't know what will happen after my PhD. Don't worry at all. Remember, whenever we worry, we feel that this is the end, but actually it's not. Why worry when you are on the right path? You're doing your PhD. Why worry? You are already on the right path. Okay. So that's about worry. Now coming to harassment. So, you know, all institutes have some kind of harassment policy so don't worry that somebody will harass you instead be vocal about it and you know you should know which committee to go to if in case there is a harassment generally 99 percent doesn't happen but if it is happening please be vocal and go and talk to someone the next is fear of the unknown like what will happen something un un unknown can happen so like i said fear is nothing but a paper tiger so fear is a paper tiger don't be scared it doesn't exist in reality instead know this that you are capable enough to handle any challenges. If you could handle challenges up to MSc, why can't you do it in your PhD also? All you have to do is convince your family, make them understand that this is important for your career and your future. Okay. Very important point I'm going to come now is marriage pressure. Now, what happens during marriage pressure? Family will say it's the right time to marry off. It's the right age to marry off. Later on, you'll not get good guys, stuff like that. Right. But ask them a question why did i study biotechnology biosciences this far why did i come this far to go back no right so here is something you have to tell your family tell them that you are committed to help your future husband or spouse but how would you help if you are just sitting at home and cooking instead you can contribute to his income if you do a PhD and if you get placed as a scientist, right? You'll be able, you want to walk with your husband shoulder to shoulder. You don't want to walk back or front. Okay. So that is the reason you must earn and PhD helps you do that. Okay. Fair enough. Now, remember marriage can be done anytime. It's not that people get married at the age of 80 also. It's fine. But right career is required to survive in this brutal economy. You know, for 15 years ago, the price of petrol was 40. Today it is 110. So things change, right? But that is why the economy is brutal, right? And that point in time in future, you need to support your husband, right? So why not, you know, what's wrong, right? Now coming to the next, which is long working hours. Now long working hours is something which will always be there. But remember, this is a part of the R&D life, whether you become a scientist or a senior scientist, principal scientist, HOD, whatever. Long working hours, long hours, even I do long hours. But the thing is, you have to balance between stress and life. Okay, don't get too much stressed and remember to enjoy life. And as long as you're passionate about research, enjoyment is everything. So here is a conclusion for all the butterflies out there who wish to pursue their PhD as a girl child. Remember, sky is the limit, if not even sky is the limit. You have every right to move forward. You have every right to pursue your CSIR net and then complete your PhD, postdoc and become a researcher, scientist, assistant, professor, what not you want to become. Never ever succumb to circumstance, never ever succumb to relative pressure, family pressure instead make them understand through logic. Safety concerns will always be there whether you are inside your house or whether you are outside. But you are a car who is not supposed to be in the garage. You are a ship which is not supposed to be locked into the shores. You are here to sail through. You are here to fly. So all the best for your future. Thank you so much for watching this video. Stay subscribed and let me know what next I should make. And if you have any questions, comments or any feedback, 
do let me know below in the comment section. I will definitely try to reply to you personally. Thank you so much for watching this video. It was fun watching, you know, interacting with all of you. See you in the next one. Till then, take care. Bye-bye.